Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The T-90 tanks are the most feared weapon in Indian Armory. India's T-90 Bison, named after character in Mahabharata epic, sports French-built thermal sights and Russian Kotak 5 explosive reactor armor. Its turret has been domestically developed composite armor, a mixture of ceramic and other laminates which may offer better protection than the stock of T-90S, the Russian export model. The optical devices are going to be game changer in the main battlefield due to the enhanced battlefield awareness. Today's battlefield scenario has also vastly changed. The proliferation of technology in the defense and security and space has improved overall survivability and attack capabilities. This is why the upgrade of T-90's commander site is crucial. In yet another boost to the Make in India initiative, the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract on 24th February for Rs 1,075 crore with Bharat Electronics Limited for the retro modification of commander site of the battle tanks T-90. The retro modification will be carried out in 957 T-90 tanks of the Indian Army. Commander site of the Indian main battle tank T-90 is presently fitted with the image converter IC2 based site for night viewing. Based on the requirement projected by Indian Army, DRDO and BL have jointly designed and developed an advanced mid-wave thermal imager based site as a replacement for existing IC based site. MQ Limited, a private defense firm, has also received the transfer of technology for the driver night site of T-90 tanks from DIDO this month. Beside the commander site, the technology for simulated test and interrogator kit stick for T-90 tank were also transferred to Opto Electronics Factory, a unit of India Opto Limited Dehradun. The kit will be used to check the readiness of the guided weapon system of T-90 tanks in the field. IRDE, a DRDO lab, has designed and developed the stick based on PSQR of the Indian Army. The system is completely indigenous and there is an urgent requirement for this system in the Army. The new retro modified commander site employs a thermal imager capable of detecting the targets at 8 km during day and night and a laser range fighter LRF to find ranges accurately up to 5 km, thereby enhancing the capability to engage targets at longer ranges. With the correction from ballistic software and LRF, the commander of T-90 can detect, engage and neutralize the targets with phenomenal accuracy. The system comprises an advanced uncooled thermal imager and a day camera having low light level imaging capability in form fit configuration. It also incorporates electronic image fusion of thermal imager and day camera. The system is a substantial upgrade to an existing sighting system which will greatly enhance the night fighting capability of T-90 tanks. The indigenously developed site has completed its extensive evaluation under field conditions successfully. The indigenous development of thermal imager based command site will provide further boost to indigenous R&D and defense manufacturing. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.